For decades, scientists had been studying the ice-covered continent of Antarctica, trying to unlock its secrets. They knew that there was life in the waters beneath the ice and that the continent had once been covered in lush forests and teeming with diverse animal life. But there was always a nagging feeling that there was more to be discovered, something deeper and more mysterious lurking beneath the ice. Dr. Emily Jones was a geologist, and she had been studying Antarctica for over a decade. She had made many trips to the frozen continent, always eager to discover more about its secrets. But on her latest trip, something caught her eye. As she was examining a rock formation on the surface, she noticed that it seemed to have been artificially carved. At first, she dismissed it as a natural phenomenon, but as she looked closer, she became convinced that it was something more. She called in her team, and they all agreed that the rock formation looked like it had been shaped by intelligent beings. This discovery was groundbreaking. It meant that there might be an ancient civilization buried beneath the ice. But the question was, how could they access it? They needed to drill through miles of ice to get to the underlying rock formations. It was a massive undertaking, but they were determined to try. After months of planning and preparation, they finally began drilling. It was a slow process, and they had to be careful not to damage any potential artifacts that might be buried beneath the ice. But eventually, they broke through to the underlying rock. At first, there was nothing. The rock was barren and unremarkable. But as they continued to drill deeper, they noticed something strange. The rock formations were becoming more complex, almost like they had been carved or shaped in some way. Excitement grew among the team. They knew they were on the brink of a major discovery. As they continued to drill, they suddenly broke through into a large, underground chamber. The team was stunned. The chamber was enormous, at least twice the size of a football field. But what was even more astonishing was what they found inside. There were structures unlike anything they had ever seen before. They were made of a material that seemed to be a combination of metal and stone. They were intricate, with carvings and patterns etched into the surface. But what was even more amazing was the technology they found. There were machines and devices that were clearly not of this world. They seemed to be powered by some sort of energy source that the team couldn't even begin to understand. Dr. Jones and her team were astounded. They had discovered an ancient civilization, one that had been buried beneath the ice for millions of years. But as they continued to explore, they realized that the civilization was not entirely dead. They found evidence of recent activity, signs that someone had been there recently. It was an eerie feeling, as if they were intruding on a place they shouldn't be. But they continued to explore, eager to learn as much as they could about this mysterious civilization. As they delved deeper, they discovered something even more astonishing. There were signs of life. Creatures that they had never seen before, some of them so strange that they were barely recognizable as living beings. It was clear that this was not just an ancient civilization, but a living one, hidden away beneath the ice for all these years. The team was stunned. They had discovered something that no one had ever thought possible, a hidden world that had been right beneath their feet the whole time. It was a discovery that would change the course of human history, one that would challenge everything they thought they knew about the universe and their place in it. As they continued to explore, they realized that there was still so much to learn, so much to.